So before we enter the new year, it's always an opportunity to look at an, and do an inventory of our life. That includes the people that we have in our life as friends, the situations that we have, the work that we do, the attitudes that we hold, the thoughts that are pervasive in our mind, and then to design a new version of ourselves for the new year. And as we all know, it's very difficult to change our character or behavior change. There's up to an 80 or 90% failure rate, but there is a way of doing certain things, specifically if we're emotionally attached to the outcome. I want to speak here a little bit about, you know, how we might mold our ideal self for the new year based on developing competencies of emotional intelligence, but combining that with spiritual intelligence. And so a lot of people speak about emotional intelligence, but they don't really know what it is. And there are a number of competencies that relate to emotional intelligence, like including compassion, uh, intrapersonal awareness, interpersonal awareness, there's stress tolerance, there are a number of competencies. And so we'll speak a little bit about that in later videos. But what I'd like to speak about really is what is spiritual intelligence? And so some people may think that this is a construct that hasn't been evaluated, but in fact, actually my prof for my thesis for my master's in leadership studies was working on the spiritual intelligence quotient with Dr. Reuven Baron. So parallel to the growing interest in emotional intelligence, there is an emerging field or interest in combining the constructs of spirituality and intelligence into spiritual intelligence. And there's a number of scholars that have developed different ways of measuring this. There are many definitions and measures of spirituality. And if we look at the different measures of them, there is confusion and a misunderstanding that there's overlap between religion and spirituality. When in fact, I'm gonna take this out because I think it looks a little funny on the video. <laughs> Sorry, I need a, somebody to help me prepare for these videos, obviously, in order for them to be professional. But this is all, I'm all, I'm capable of editing this, but there's a number of guys that are on my machines that are there. Hello, gentlemen, that are seeing the unedited spoofy versions. So despite the overlap that is discussed or confused upon between religion and spirituality, there is a difference. There is also agreement on the distinction between the two. Religion is focused on the sacred within institutional organizations and spirituality refers to experiential elements of meaning and, trans and transcendence, which is Worthington's research, 2001. So there are several different dimensions of spirituality. And one of the things that I like to think about in a more simplistic way, when we look at spiritual intelligence versus religion, is that it's our ability to derive meaning in a situation. And that can come from religion and a notion of God, or it can come from just deriving meaningfulness from an event or a situation or a tragedy in one's life. So it's about finding the mission in one's life, a sense of sacredness of life, balanced appreciation of material values, and a fundamental vision for the betterment of the world. And that's Friedman and McDonald's Research 2002, a review. Now, many definitions of spirituality and other types of religions or ways of emancipating. But spirituality identifies several common themes. Based on these themes, spirituality, not religion, can be defined as focus on ultimate meaning. What that is, you define it. Awareness and development of multiple levels of consciousness. Experience of the preciousness 
and sacredness of life and transcendence of self into a greater whole. Now, when we try to look at the integration of spirituality into different frameworks of intelligence and looking at Gardner's definition of intelligence, he argues that spirituality can be viewed as a form of intelligence because it predicts functioning and adaptation, better health, and offers capabilities that enable people to solve problems and attain goals at the highest levels is based on my experience. There are four components to spiritual intelligence, ability to use a lot, utilize spiritual resources to solve problems. So going beyond just cognitive intelligence, emotional intelligence, ability to enter into heightened states of transcendence and consciousness. There are methods to do that. Ability to invest everyday activities and relationships with a sense of the sacred and capacity for transcendence. Spirituality really is a sense of sacredness of life and transcendence of the self to higher levels. This is seen as exceptional and experiential qualities of consciousness and abilities or forms of intelligence that may be seen in very specific individuals. So spirituality is the ability to derive meaning from life. And more importantly, you really get a chance to test that when you're faced with tragedy, violence, attacks on your being, your identity, who you are, physical, emotional, psychological, cyber, economic, structural violence. And so in understanding these elements and waiting on higher wisdom for advice, That's a whole other level of spiritual intelligence where then we're using the power of prayer, God, and allowing the greatest things to emancipate in our life and in the lives of those around us, including the ones that are harming us. So stay tuned for more on this.